Hi, I'm Dave Chang. I'm the host of the new Netflix series, Breakfast, Lunch, and Dinner. Today I'm gonna to be tasting three dishes and I'm gonna to try to guess which well-known chef is behind the dish. I am gonna to try to literally guess blind. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna do pretty badly. I've never really been a breakfast guy until the birth of my son. And now I make breakfast all the time and we eat breakfast as a family, but up until now, what, 41 plus years later, I only ate breakfast if I was uh, having a fun night the night before. I have no idea what's here, and we'll see what happens. I can tell you right now, I've never had this for breakfast. It is some kind of breakfast bread pudding type thing. I see a peach or nectarine with raspberries, and could be cornmeal. I can tell you right now, this is not what I would eat for breakfast. I'm not like a kind of sweet waffle kind of person. I'm trying to think of who it isn't, number one. This is not a chef from California or the West Coast. This is not a chef from the South. It's definitely not a French chef. It's not a chef from Europe. It's someone that makes American comfort food. It's like Rachel Ray, Sandra Lee, or someone on the Food Network. My final guess is Sandra Lee, but we're gonna find out at the end. Lunch is a meal that constantly changes as I get older. It's now trying to be a little bit more healthier, so it's whatever to get me to dinner, so it's a salad or a sandwich. And I couldn't have been more wrong. This is lunch. <laughs> Looks like we have a bowl of bacon macaroni. The only thing I'm happy about, it's not lobster or mac and cheese. Something you see too much of, I guess. Looks like it was made a traditional way with a bechamel and then mounted with cheese. And the fact that bacon is added to this also means this is an unorthodox approach to, to cooking, I think. A chef like Jessica Koslow is not making this. I'm also gonna say this is someone that is self-taught. This is someone that's also American. Let me taste. I think I have an idea. So I think it's someone that is uh, thinking outside the box. My final pick, even if it's not right, it's right, Aisha Curry. Dinner is uh, the meal of the day for me. This being sort of fall, late fall, um, maybe in getting colder, I'd want a stew or some kind of soupy thing with a bowl of rice. That's something I would eat at home. I'm gonna bet money that this is a meatloafy, chicken pot pie y thing. <laughs> I don't know who the hell made this. What's in it? Is this kimchi? You know, for a second I had to go through the data banks and be like, is this a <laughs> recipe that I would have made? <laughs> would a Korean person have made this? No. I want options. I want options. I need a lifeline. I know I said it couldn't have been a Korean person. I see three people, two of whom are Koreans. You have Sang Yoon from Father's Office. You have Roy Choi from Kogi. And you have Naked Chef. I think this is Jamie Oliver Dish. But the reality is it could be Roy Choi. Hold on, I gotta figure this out. And what's in it? Cheese? Mayonnaise? It's very cheesy, spicy mayonnaise, and cabbage, and guanabara. This is Roy Choi. Jamie Oliver wouldn't have used uh, cilantro, and he would not have gone the extra mile to put sesame oil in the mayonnaise. So this is my good friend Roy Choi's hot dog. All right, so I have the three correct answers in front of me for my guesses of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. For breakfast, I chose Sandra Lee. Right. For lunch, I chose Aisha Curry. Mother <laughs> For Aisha Curry. For dinner, I chose Roy Choi and his Kogi Dogs by Roy Choi. All right. Perfect score. Thanks for having me, guys. This was my uh, my attempt to guess breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We have a show called Breakfast, Lunch, and Dinner on Netflix. Check it out. And um, yeah, this is this is how you do it. You guess a perfect score.